<laughs> if you ever wondered what an 1888 burn house looks like, this is it. Look at that water heater. Why do I need to get my new build inspected? We've got a dryer vent not connected to the exterior. I almost made it. Just a little bit off. look really carefully you can see some termite damage and some frass right there but it's also looks like the ants are starting to take over too Let's see if we can see any more damage oh a little new build uh, just tested this outlet works fine, but when I pulled it out, not only did this light fixture and fan stop working, but all these outlets along the wall that were testing correct now show that the ground wire and the hot wire are reversed. And this is also happening in the primary bedroom. And an air register there. A covered up air register there. Yeah, it's floating. Yeah. I looked at it and I was like, man, I'm gonna double check this. So it is only about 60 degrees outside today, and it's actually pretty warm in this attic. So I'm trying to figure out why. I look up, and they have put felt paper and shingles in place at the top ridge. And the top ridge is on the outside that has a ridge vent over this. It is covered up the vent hole. So we're not getting any airflow out the top of the roof. So electrician did a really good job with these junction boxes next to the attic ladder but he missed the most important one that's filled with insulation dryer vent running to a an operative power vent and all that one build up Got some damaged subfloor, damaged beam. Bottom plate damaged. Up here, a lot of frass. Definitely going to need a roofer. Yeah. 
definitely gonna need an electrician. Definitely gonna need an HVAC technician. Somebody's been a very busy boy. We're in a 2000-ish flip, and I have been on a leak streak this week. Caught another one. This foundation repair where they just did a veneer concrete on the exterior of uh, foundation perimeter beam. But we had some rotting wood and some other dirt tubes here, so I accident accidentally popped this off, and sure enough, I had some termites crawling right up through there. So it may make it look pretty, but it also makes a great hiding spot for termites. Hello? Ooh, oh. Yeah, I found you. Anyone else? There we go. I'm at the water heater. It's really old. There was a repairman here trying to light the pilot. in there. Looking for the drain line here in an older property. It's kind of hidden in this box, like a sprinkler system. Just open this up, this is a good sign. PVC clean out. We look down here, and uh, that's just a PVC pipe going to a cast iron pipe, and it's full of mud and gunk. Tricky. I'm up on a roof. A uh, 70s-ish house, late 70s. There's a little lifting flashing right over here. Got um, some sidewall contacts, some debris. Pretty normal stuff. There's a little bit of composition granular loss, just a little bit of age. The squirrels have been having a field day here with this flashing. And then, got some more debris. There's a little bit of pitting happening right here. And then this flashing, that's gonna, it's gonna need some help. It's going to be a fun day. I'm guessing that hasn't been changed in a while. <laughs> 